Hey Blender Files SD and with me Shubham from Blender File and this is the node concept still going on and today we have the glossy node. Woo. So uh, back to Blender. Firstly, we're gonna do is a small scene setup before we can actually you know go to the nodes. So press G and Z and grab this up on the X axis and oh sorry Z axis and just keep it on the X. I'll add in a plane and scale 8 enter so that we scale it up uh, just to the side of the grid. And I'm gonna add in a UV sphere and grab the Z one and two so it will be just above the surface. That's right. And I'm gonna add in another object, let's see, Taurus. And I'm gonna grab this here and rotate like that. And that looks good. So select that and go over here, shade smooth, and that should do the job. Just grab this, oops, grab this up, just like that. Okay, and we'll delete that, go to the world setting and bring that down, just like that. Okay, and add in a plane and grab this just over there and grab the Y and rotate it on the, set, uh, on the X. Okay, so now the node editor, I'll open it up over here, and I'm gonna add in this cube, and use nodes, and let's just give it a simple color, and this as well, new material, and, uh, okay, and next thing, use this, add new material, and make this, uh, uh, where is that, emission, there it is, okay, and I'll make the strength 5, and select this and I'm gonna add in a new material and do diffuse and add in the glossy node so so the glossy node is actually having four of oh, well, three inputs and this distribution so the color is you know color huh. in the roughness I'll just uh, go through it in a second normal you know and if you don't know what normal is uh, I'll suggest watch the previous tutorial because you know these normals and colors are dis uh, discussed in the previous tutorial and it's highly recommended that you watch the tutorial uh, in a series so you know watch the first tutorial then second and third rather than watching any random tutorial in the middle so okay so I'm gonna draw in a border control B just like that and press shift set so the glossy shader is actually you know reflecting the light that is falling on it so the color over here is actually giving the color to the gloss okay. so completely white will make it completely white reflection and black will make it no reflection at all and uh, the color will give it a tint of reflection so color you know usually while using glossy node you don't give a color but if you're making a metal just like for example there is gold then you add in slightly yellow color with it. That's looking golden. Okay, I'll just make it white only. Then the roughness. The roughness is actually simulating small bumps on the surface that is actually making the you know reflection blurry. So zero roughness will make it a mirror. And roughness of one, well you can see. It's just similar to diffuse, I guess. Actually there's slight reflections here. Yeah, there's slight reflection over there and this as well okay so that's the roughness and normally you already know i guess and if you don't you know watch the previous turn right so the distribution well it actually is an algorithm that tells blender how to treat the light that is falling on the surface so uh i searched about this on google and what i got is this is what DJX does and exponentially this thing and Beckman. So if you are a maths expert, then I guess you won't be having a problem with this. But then I don't know what any of this means. Well, there is not much of a noticeable difference on these things. And uh, I've asked people, so they say GGX gives uh, really nice results. More generally. Than, yeah, generally. And then there is Asking Shelly that's a bit worse than GGX and Beckman is what people say is kinda bad okay so uh, we need to have quite a little roughness to actually see the difference 
So, uh, GGX, that's, I don't know, people say generally is the most realistic. I don't see how it's realistic. Okay, and then there is the Pac-Man, which is, as people say, the worst. And then there is the Acumen Shelly, which is kind of the moderate and middle average of the Pac-Man and GGX. And Sharp, which actually ignores the roughness and gives complete mirror. So that's the thing. And your friends won't affect the sharp. So that's basically the glossy shader. That's it for this tutorial. And I hope you like it. If you like that button. And if you have a query or a comment, do drop it in the comment section. For our next tutorial, subscribe, stay tuned. And you can also, you know, stay tuned on our Facebook page that is facebook.com slash blenderfile. So, uh, see you in our next tutorial where we will be covering the two nodes club together being the mix and the add shader. So, uh, see ya and happy blending!